Hello everybody, this is the Dog in Yard, uh, bringing you episode 42 of Let's Fail at Half-Life 2. Now right off the bat, I want to apologize for not having done commentaries for the past couple of weeks, uh, but I had a busy schedule, um, and didn't have the time to record anything in the voice. Uh, luckily I had some video files saved, ready to go, so I was able to upload anyway, just without commentary. Uh, so everything should be back to normal now. Um, so yeah, right off the bat, we're setting up the defense. Uh, we gotta hold this area against the combine for long enough then for Alex to bring down some shielding on that giant gray thing right in front of me. But once right in front of me. <laughs> um, there's an energy ball inside there that I have to knock out with my gravity. Uh, so he's taking hits from something rare. Ah, you. They come. So hopefully I'll perform better with this thing than the last time. Not way yet. Oh no, they still haven't taken off. The guy on the ledge is still up there. Oh well. Here, hop. And I don't think that's a thing. Up. Shooting me. Oh, cross this You're dead. Oh, the Ah, two, two with one. Oh, that's not too bad. Bring the other one up closer. They were kind of bad spots, I guess. I got three shots left. And I missed. I really have to stop aiming at running targets. It's not a very good thing. And dodged. They always do that. And you're dead. No, you're not. You're there goes dead. the external shield. Yes. Yes. We've not called Let's Fail at Half Life 2 for nothing. It landed on top of him. Must have killed him. Okay, that one is good. Last miss is more hits. That's what we want to see. Last That's the problem with holding a single area. Ha! You blew yourself up with your own grenade. <laughs> That's the problem with holding a single area. Um, other than people always tossing grenades at you. Uh, you're just holding a single You're like, except for that kind of range. Well, no one can miss at that kind of range. Well, no, that's not true. I can miss at that kind of range. You'll probably see it later on when I'm using a shotgun. So far, that's it. Man, very big ammo, ammo capacity. That's the annoying thing. Half Life One, you could just you could store so much ammo, like five rockets. Oh dear! Uh, oh, they died almost as quickly. Aha! We're good to go. Mission accomplished. Now, while you guys run away, some of you go and ask if you can. I don't know why I did this when I when I was playing this. I was not accomplishing it by getting myself lower in the world. Uh, in fact, I nearly died. As you can see, I'm already pretty close to death. I was nearly getting shot in the ammo. Um, 
Yeah, at this point, I actually take out a rocket, rocket launcher to finish these guys off. I didn't think I was getting a chance for this. You are nearly dead. And so, um, low on shotgun ammo, burn through my whole squad. Well, my whole squad died. Okay, Barney should be on the far side of that. I probably die as they go through. Well, there used to be a bridge here. Let me see if I can scout a new path. Sounds good. I'll stay here. Ah, wait for me here. That kind of seems a bit unfair that there's no way I, Gordon Freeman, could go along that wall. I mean, you just, you can't do it. There's nothing to hang on to. There's nothing to jump onto. And yet an NPC can. So why am I the one saving the world if Alex is obviously more capable? Hey! Looks like we might be able to get through down there! Let's head that way! Ah! No! Okay, I guess that's why I'm the one saving the game, not Alex. I don't go randomly getting clubbed on the head, except that one time in Half-Life 1 when I did get clubbed on the head and knocked out the guard stole, or the grunt stole all my weaponry. That kind of sucked. Okay, so now, as well as saving the world, we have to save Alex. Oh, and also we still have to save uh, Eli Vance as well. And figure out where dog went to. I got some of my battery power left, suit power. Yeah, I got all my shotgun, shotgun ammo back. Got plenty of shotgun ammo, which is good because I'm in a tunnel now, and that's the perfect kind of gun for a tunnel. Hmm, not very effective. This is just teaching you, because uh, the next door, that wooden bar. Why am I trying to close this? I don't. Know. Yeah, this wooden bar is actually. Lock, locking it in place. So this is just sort of to teach you. How long am I going to spend trying to get this thing on? I think it's a lost cause. Yeah, it's a lost cause. Um, yes, this one. So that, that previous door was sort of a lesson teaching you how these things work. And the last one, you have to actually lift it up. Yes, knock out all the supporting beams. Good plan. Oh, man, Hex. Oh, well, I know how to do that. Nice crowbar to the face. That's the grab You smash me against the wall. Or a pistol. Eh, eh. If you can hit them. Take some more shots, though. But you, you don't. They don't uh, saw you at close range that way. Eh, parrots to both. The gravity gun's the most effective. Um, I think I'd try and use it as much as possible instead of the on stupid battery thing. I think I'd try and use it as much as possible instead of the crowbar.